Hey, sixth graders, welcome back to Bible. We are in lesson six. We are going to be studying the book of Luke, an overview of the book of Luke. Um, Luke is one of my favorite books because Luke is a very detail-focused book. And that makes sense because Luke, the author, was a doctor. Luke was a physician. And you know that when you think of a doctor, a good doctor, you think of the kinds of qualities that a good doctor would have. A good doctor is smart. A good doctor is precise. A good doctor is kind. A good doctor is diligent and hardworking and cares for people. And all of those qualities that make a good doctor or a good physician today are qualities that Luke had. Luke's gospel is chronological. That means it's written in time order. And it's very complete and has a lot of details uh, that Luke includes that, that the other gospels don't always include. Um, Luke was probably a Gentile, which is any person who is not Jewish. He wrote his gospel to a Greek audience, to a Gentile audience and someone named Theophilus. If you go to the book of Luke, open up your Bible, get your Bible out and open up your Bible and go to the book of Luke. In the very first chapter, if I can get there, uh, verses one through four, I'm gonna read that and I want you to read along with me. Luke chapter one, verses one through four. Inasmuch as many have undertaken to compile an account of the things accomplished among us, just as they were handed down by us, by those who, sorry, let me start over, just as they were handed down to us by those who from the beginning were eyewitnesses and servants of the word, it seemed fitting for me as well, having investigated everything carefully from the beginning, to write it out for you in consecutive order, most excellent Theophilus, so that you may know the exact truth about the things that you have been taught. Now, some scholars think that Theophilus was an actual person, and some scholars think that Theophilus is um, sort of representative of anyone who loves God, because the name Theophilus comes from two Greek words, Theo, God, and Phileo, which is brotherly love. So Theophilus means a lover of God, someone who loves God. So it could be, because that was an actual name, it could be that it was an actual person, or it could be that um, Luke just wants to write it, the book for everyone who loves God. But it's written really for people who weren't Jews. He wanted to encourage people toward a faith in God. Luke presented Jesus as the Son of Man. We talked about um, Son of God, and we talked about Servant and Redeemer in Luke really focused on Jesus' humanity. Son of man is a phrase that Jesus used to describe himself in reference to his own humanity. Jesus was a human being. Um, there are some religions, some uh, people who claim to be Christians who say that um, Jesus wasn't really God. He was only a man. And some who claim to be Christians who say Jesus wasn't human at all. He was only a spirit pretending to be human. But Jesus himself said that he was the son of God and he was the son of man. Luke really focused a lot on Jesus' humanity, how he felt how he had compassion for people who were hurting, when he was angry, when he was sad. Je uh, Luke really focused on Jesus being one of us, that Jesus is the same as all of us, that he had all the same struggles and all the same trials and all the same temptations. The difference is, is that Jesus never gave into those temptations and he never let those struggles overcome him like we do. And, um, and so fully human, Jesus can understand and care about us and what we're going through. Jesus' desire um, is talked about in Luke chapter 19, verse 10. It says, 
Jesus says, for the son of man, talking about himself again, has come to seek and save that which was lost. Jesus' focus was on saving people who were lost. Jesus was a real person and a perfect person who wanted to connect with the Gentile believers in their humanity. Luke wants to, to show Gentile believers that Jesus wasn't just for the Jews, he was for all people, and that we can all have a relationship with God, even though we're not Jewish. Luke wrote the Gospel of Luke and the book of Acts, um, the traditional belief, is that he wrote his gospel around A.D. 60. Um, Luke was not an eyewitness of the things that happened. He was not there for them. He investigated. You remember when we read in chapter 1, verse, uh, what was it, 2? 3. That uh, he said, I have investigated everything carefully from the beginning. So Luke did interviews um, some scholars believe that he got a lot of his information from Peter. Um, they believe that a lot of his research probably took place during a period of about two years when Paul was in prison because Luke was Paul's traveling companion. So if Paul was in prison, Luke wasn't traveling. And so he that's when they think he probably did those interviews and did that investigation. Um, Luke was a friend to Paul. Luke was a loyal friend to Paul. In fact, there was a movie out, um, goodness, not that long ago, a few years ago, uh, called Paul the Apostle, but it's from the point of view of Luke because Luke was with Paul through a lot of his missionary journeys and he stayed loyal and steadfast as a friend to Paul. And Paul actually talks about Luke and calls him the beloved physician. That Luke was a good friend, much loved by people who knew him. And that love is something that Luke focused on a lot. If you go to Luke chapter 6, and we're not going to read this whole passage um, on the video, but you can read it if you want. Um, Luke chapter 6, verses 27 through 49. Jesus has a lot to say about love and how we treat other people. This actually has what, for me, is one of the hardest commands in the Bible. This is so difficult to do. In verse 27 and 28, Jesus says, But I say to you who hear, love your enemies, do good to those who hate you, bless those who curse you, pray for those who mistreat you. We are supposed to love everyone, but not just like, oh, I love everybody, but we're supposed to be out there actively doing good to everyone, even people who, who hate us. And that's really difficult to do. Um, and in verse 31, we have what a lot of people call the golden rule. Treat others the same way you want them to treat you. Jesus doesn't say you get to do like he hit you so you can hit him back. Jesus says just the opposite, that we're supposed to act in a way that's loving to everyone all the time. We're supposed to love and forgive our enemies. It's not hard to love somebody that's nice to you, right? You can think of somebody you know that's a good person and is sweet and kind, and it's so easy to love people like that. It's those people that are difficult, right? Or people that are just hard people to get along with, and sometimes people that are actively mean and nasty. Jesus says you're supposed to show them love and kindness, and Luke really focused on that. Luke wrote down a lot of those things that Jesus taught about love and about relationships that we're supposed to have with other people. Because Luke really wanted to show how much Jesus loved us. Now, when you go to your workbook to do page 21, you are going to need this paper. I have put it on the Google Classroom so that you can see it um, and you can print it if you need to print a copy. This is a summary of Luke's Gospel and you are going to need this to fill out part three of this page. Um, you do not have to do number two on the summary. We're only using this to help with the workbook page. So you do not have to do number two on this summary. And um, 
I'll see you tomorrow.